everybody, it's time for this week's News Minute, and we are joined with Jen, and we've got another great experiment. Tell me what we're going to be doing and what we need. So today, we are doing a fun activity that is based off of the Dr. Seuss book, 10 Apples Up on Top. So to start, we're going to be doing kind of what they're doing in the book, which is let's try and balance uh -oh. some apples on our head. No pressure, no pressure. Ooh, it's ooh. a little bit difficult. The first one is not too oh, hard. Oh gosh, two of Trying them. Trying to add a second. On top? Oh, see, it's a little bit hard. Oh, no. <laughs> it's Shoot. a fun challenge, though, so you guys can keep trying, see how many apples you can stack. Okay. And then the second one, we're going to try another balancing activity. So we have this bat cut out on our website and on our Facebook page, but you guys can just make your own bat cut out, whatever okay. you want. And try and fold it different ways and balance it on your finger. Ooh, and you were saying before that this is a little bit more challenging than it looks. Exactly. It's kind of difficult. And the reason why is because an object, when it's balanced, is at its center of mass. So if you can find the center of mass um, of this bat, then you can get it balanced. So as you can see, I'm having a little bit of difficulty. <laughs> I and do if, the same way. Yes. If you want to make it even harder, though, if you guys are being able to balance it right at the beginning, go ahead and try this one. Add a paper clip on top of it, and that's going to change the center of its mass. So you guys can try that again. And you can try other different ways by bending the bat, by uh, balancing it on a different finger. Ooh. There's a lot of different ways to make this activity yours. Awesome, Jen. I love it. A simple activity and really fun to do at home. 